Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back uh, on the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine DLC doing the Hunger Game quest. We need to visit Corvo. Shut up. We need to visit Corvo Blanco and see how Marlene is doing. So let's head on up here. I guess I'll read the quest description to you guys. Uh, the Witcher had decided not to kill the White. A fortunate decision as the monster had proven to be a woman named Marlene. Afflicted some time past by a terrible curse, the Witcher had lifted the curse and learned Marlene's story. She had suffered unimaginable pain while cursed, faded forever to hunger and and waste away. Geralt's big, or Geralt, big-hearted as he was, could not leave the woman to fend for herself. He invited her to stay at Corvo Blanco, the estate the Duchess had give, granted him in recognition of his service. The estate's majordomo took Marlene under his wing. The Witcher decided he he would visit the cured woman several days later. So here we are. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. Uh, guess you could stay here. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet, yeah. after all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream? You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook. You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. See you later. Take care, Witcher, and remember... You always have warm food awaiting your return. 
All right, search for Marlene's dowry. So it's a good thing that I spared the white. So it tends to be if you're nice, you know, you're rewarded. I'm assuming if I killed her. Uh, hold on, let's fast travel. I have a feeling if I killed her, it would have had no real reward. If my lips don't stick Maybe I get, one, like, um, some extra crafting materials or something looting her body, but I don't think I would have gotten something. This is kind of cool, actually. Like, I'm really happy I saved her. Not just simply for whatever rewards may lie here. Just the fact that, you know, it added another character, added some additional dialogue, stuff like that. Just added something additional to the game. Uh, who knows what choosing to kill it would have done, but... I would assume nothing too exciting. Alright, let's get on up to the house. Sorry if you hear uh, that. I, I doubt you will, but I have the dishwasher running. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to hear it, but... Because I can barely hear it, so I, I highly doubt you guys will be able to. But thought I'd just give a nice little warning just in case. I didn't want to ignite that crap. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Full. So, what does that mean? Hmm. Nothing interesting here. This one's full too. Nothing interesting here. Full. What the heck? There we go. This one's full too. Good, they're just all full. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Full. <laughs> They're all full. <sighs> Strange. Gold stick of joy. Hmm. Four hundred crowns. That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. Okay, so that's that quest completed. It said something about looking great in the house, so. Obviously, we gotta go back and see what it does. Then maybe I'll... I don't know what I'm gonna do quest-wise next. We gotta go stick this at the house. What was it exactly? I didn't even actually look at it too thoroughly. What was it that we just picked up? Gold stick of joy. I don't know where I put that at the house, but we will sure go ahead and put it on display. Uh, where is my fast travel? Son of a bitch, where's the fast travel point? Oh my gosh, I'm completely nowhere near it. Alright, let's go back this way. The 400 crowns was nice. But I'm almost at this point in the game more interested with uh, items and trinkets and stuff like that. Especially if I can display it at my house. Alright, back to the house we go. Where is my house? Here we go. Back to Corvo Blanco.
So Dark Souls is going to get put on the back burner again. Uh, the noon upload will be multiplayer, whether it's Black Ops 3 Long Road Back or it's uh, Overwatch. The 4 o'clock upload will be Witcher and the 8 o'clock upload will be Star Wars. All times, obviously, uh, in Eastern. I think I said that before. Uh, so I'd assume this goes on one of these trophy stands. Yes, Gold Stick of Joy. All right, there we go. Why is there no light? I feel like there should be a light over here lighting up my trophies, but that's all right. All right. Now, what quest can we do that I think is going to be nice and quick? Uh, could go back and do the stupid Gwent tournament. Hmm. Let's see here. A Witcher contract. Bovine Blues. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this to end the episode. Let's go ahead and go around, hit up all of these different uh, notice boards. We'll do the little readings that they entail, and uh, I think that should equal uh, equal the episode. I think that'll work out well. A little bit of a less interesting episode, but something that I've needed to take care of for quite some time now is to go check out these new... Uh, notice boards, like I've checked out the notice boards before. Actually, where was the one? Down? I thought there was one down here. Oh, no, it's over here. I don't think I've been to that one yet. Uh, but the other two I have been to, I just think they have new stuff at them. So, obviously, we need to do, we need to go check those out. So, we'll go ahead and read whatever is on them. And uh, then I think that'll, that'll do it for this episode. Actually, pretty good loading times today on the game. I'm not really sure what is causing it, but always Nothing nice. To see here. Move along. All right, notice board. Beware of monsters. Monsters known as bar guests have been spotted near the cemetery. All vineyard workers are thus advised to depart for home before dusk, preferably in groups. It is also recommended they choose routes which bypass the cemetery. Failure to adhere to these safety precautions could lead to serious consequences, including but not limited to mental trauma, crippling injury, and being torn apart and devoured. Uh, organizing an expedition. Anyone who desires glory and fame and is invited to join me in the grand place on the 17th of the current month, I plan to set out in good company and in search of adventure. We are sure to encounter many damsels in distress and have ample opportunity to help the oppressed. Tear Man Day Breard. Uh, need an herbalist? I can cure the sick and uplift the downhearted. Is it love you seek? I can help you find it. Or you need love buried? That can be arranged. Your heart's captor tormenting you. Your uh, heart can be changed. Trouble with neighbors, with enemies, their prosperity eating you up inside. I'll plug them with bad breath, warts, itches, numbness, whatever you desire, and all for a reasonable pl price. The herbalist of Castel Ravello. I tell fairy tales. For a modest fee, I'll visit your home and tell a story about anything you request. I know how to amuse children, but I can also spin yarns to entertain adults. Invite me and you shall see listening to a good story could make your life's hardships easier to bear. Arcadius. Uh, needed. Master Magicker. I need a hard hind hind man who won't spill his sphincter at the side of sorcery and can give a witch a good fecking hiding if it comes to it. a good fecking height what does that mean if it comes to it you'll find me chopping wood near fox hollow my name's jacob and chopping wood's what i do all you poop for brain feckers who think you're jesters i'm warning you jesting's over jacob woodcutter of fox hollow caution knights errant Vic, or virtuous knights errants. Uh, I respect you as much as anyone in Tucson, but please stop attacking windmills. 
they haven't wronged you in any way, and because of your shenanigans, our maintenance expenses have increased many times over. I warn you, if you do not stack attacking windmills, I will be forced to lodge an official complaint with her illustrious highness. Sincerely, Antoine Liss. Alright, so a new location was discovered. A Knight's Tale quest. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot Anything in chains. Else? No. Okay. So we got a new secret marker added to the map as well as... Okay, good. So we kind of exp we're expanding the map, which is nice. We're getting more question marks. Um, as we level up, maybe once I get to 41 and I can use that sword that I really liked, or I really like, um, we'll start going around and getting those question marks. Some of those question marks, I think there are guys that are like level go, 46. Go. And that's kind of the only thing that I'm worried about. They are kind of high level. And Augie. Run, Roach. Come on, Roach. Let's do this. Uh, but that's kind of the only thing that's keeping me from hitting up all the question marks right now. Is that I just feel a little under-leveled. I feel like there was some 47 or 46s, you know, that kind of hinder, hinder my ability to clear out enemies with ease. Clear out question marks. You know what I mean. Clear out different stuff. Not so fast, Roach. Alright, Roach, hold up. I gotta talk to this traitor. Greetings, traveler. Have you any needs? Mind if I... What you got for sale? Absolutely nothing. Alright. I'm well, done with you. So long. Good luck on the path. Roach we go. Actually, right down here is the notice board. Beware. Aviathrope? Or Aviathrope? Uh, dangerous Aviathrope, a creature half-woman, half-oriole, has been seen near the palace at night. I've spoken to several witnesses, but the Ducal Guard remains deaf to my reports. Be on your guard. This may be the beast. Magdalene Psyche. Uh, landscape port. Oh yes, let's let's go. Uh, this by painting. As a graduate of the famed Faculty of Applied Port Portraiture at Oxford Academy, I am prepared to capture your likeness on canvas. The Tucson mountainous landscape in the background. Posing time depends on the size of painting and exactness of detail requested. Negotiable prices. Find me at Grand Place. Uh, August Benoit, or Benoit, uh, milling service, services, uh, nowhere else she, no, no, oh my gosh, nowhere else can grind your grain as finely as Count De La Croix's mill. We request all milling orders be submitted by 10 in the morning. Uh, Leroy's dead. The knight known as Sir Leroy has died during a one-man raid against monsters, carried out of his own volatility. Volition or volition, volition, and against everyone else's better judgment. He left no family or relations of any sort. He wanted to be a hero. May he rest in peace. All those who are interested are hereby informed that a funeral ceremony uh, conducted according to uh, Lebiota's right will be held in three days. Wanted transport security professionals. I'm looking for a hire a group of armed combat and security professionals. The job involves escorting three wagons throughout their entire journey to Bell Haven, protecting them while they unload and seeing they return safely with goods acquired there. Acquired there. I will cover food and lodging costs. More information available from Pierre de Salves of Vermentino. A uh, warning: Vermentino Vineyard workers. Dibble their did diddle their own mums, and one of them does his da too. All right. So what quest did we get there? No quest. Okay. There is is an exclamation point over here. Let's check this out real quick. For four generations, that is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. 
<clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me, the swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not seeking work. Are you? you? You see, I wish to buy a vineyard, Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Good look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? Ho ho ho, look at how much this dude's willing to pay. Let's we'll start him out with a cool 875. See where we go from there. Actually, let's start out with 888. Reduce it the shave. And come down to 875. That sounds fair. All right. The initial offer that I was gonna send is what he took. Good. Sure sounds like work for a Witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgart. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Alright, let's actually see if she's willing to pay more than he is. About 925. I'm sorry. That's not an amount I can afford. All right, how about 888? I'm sorry. That's not an amount I can afford. All right, well, you're not giving me more than he did. 
Because in order to not piss you off, I gotta come Could way you down. Take advantage of my misfortune? I did not think your help would come with dirty hooks attached. Bitch, what was this about paying me more? Homie back there is giving me like eight. What was he giving me? Eight seventy-five. Yeah, sure, I'll help you. Doesn't mean I'll help you first. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. In fact, I wonder if he would Alright, Wine Wars, Belgard. Oh, completed. We completed a quest. Wine Wars, Coronada. Says Great White Terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. Alright, we've got one more um, bulletin board to read, so let's get to that here quick. And then we can call it an episode. Ooh, that was interesting. There's a book, I don't know, the, it was it The Mysterious Something of Gwent. Uh, that showed you what Gwent cards you were missing. So that's interesting. Oh, Roach, buddy. Collapsed building. Foundations probably caved in. Literally undermined. All right, not not now. We'll, we'll come back to that stuff later, obviously. Might just be side quest time for a while here. I want to make sure you finish, start finishing up side quests so that we don't, we don't end up with a bunch of side quests and the main story finished. Because then that just gets boring for you guys. Because we're not progressing the story anymore. We're just doing a bunch of side quests. Oh come Faster. on, Roach, you big baby. Let's wrap around here. Let me just hop on off. There we go. We got a we got a fast travel point. Nice. All right. There's a notice board. What the hell happened here? Worked hard on the nerves, eh? That's why you're so great. Here we go. Okay. Let me kill this at these algals first. Come here. All right, what do we got on the notice board? Uh, elderly couple in need. I want everyone to know Countess de Sacor's true nature. The heartless harlot evicted an elderly couple who had lived on Bassane Farm for as long as anyone can remember. I don't know why she did this, but it was an exceptionally wicked thing to do. A concerned soul who abhors wickedness. A birthday party invitation. All those who would like to have a drink with me are invited to join me at the Cockatrice on the 18th day of this month. That day will mark 40 years since I first stepped foot into this world. Mind that neither food nor drink are on me. I will accept gifts, though. Victor, you know which one. Uh, Ludovic Deschamps uh, obituary. Ludovic Deschamps, beloved father, husband, and brother. A senior master at... Our Daiso Quarry drew his last breath yesterday afternoon. A death vigil well, will be held tomorrow when his mortal remains will be buried in the Orlemers Cemetery. We kindly request no visitors, his grieving kin. Uh, astute practitioner of the oldest profession. I might not be the fairest of them all, but I can give you a plowing so good you'll never want to go back to those Tarts at the Bellas of Belclair. Griselda. Or Griselda. Uh, attention cripples. The lives of knights errant are not simply tales of glory. Often they are also tales of brutal maiming. 
To all such mutilated knights, I can offer solace in the form of affordable wood and prosthetic fingers. After a visit to my workshop, anyone will once again be able to order five beers in the tavern. Gruber, known as Woodfinger. Missing. My 14-year-old son, Madison, hasn't returned home for ten days. I worry he has become a squire to some knight errant and wandered off with him in search of adventure. If you know anything about his fate or, fate or whereabouts, please let me know. Amelia Bloss, mother. Okay, so we unlocked some, we unlocked some locations and no new quests. Uh, so that's going to do it, though, guys, for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop it a like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in the next one uh, where we will be continuing the DLC, obviously. So catch you guys then. Peace out.